where I put it. Oh, there it is. Hi. What's up, Taters? Cam Vandal here. Got a brand new frame about to show you. This one's pretty neat. Stick around. Alright, just like I said before, we got a brand new frame I want to show you today, but before we get into that, if you have not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Go down in the description below, hit that subscribe button while you're down there. If you like what you see, hit that like button and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can get everything that I'm putting out because Ken Vandal's putting out. And with that said, <laughs> let's get to the video. Now anybody that knows me knows I love to get new frames, especially very unique frames. And about two weeks ago, I was online just looking at different frames and I came across Smo Slings, which I frequent all the time. That's Jordan Smothers. Now I've not met Jordan personally, but he seems to be a really cool guy. I devour all his content on his YouTube channel. Check this out, The Smo Show. That is the absolute coolest slingshot channel name out there. But he seems to be a pretty cool dude. I bet when he was coming up, he was that kid in the neighborhood that had all the cool toys. Like he had all the Masters of the Universe figures, including Castle Grayskull. Hey mom, I'm going to hang out at Jordan's house. I have really been impressed with Jordan Smothers of late. He has put out a whole line of HDPE frames. In fact, I featured him a couple weeks ago on a video where I was talking about HDPE frames. Well, I was looking through his catalog and I saw one frame that looked rather unique called the Icarus. Now, I didn't pull the trigger on it right then, but it was about three days later that the designer himself sent one out to me. Check it out. Yes, this is the Icarus Slingshot made by Smo Slings, designed by Robert Persley. So let's go to range. Heck on. I'm sweating like Snoop Dogg waiting on a drug test. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about the Icarus. Now, how did it get its name? Well, according to Greek mythology, Icarus and his dad were in prison. In order to escape prison, his dad made these wings out of wax and feathers, and Icarus used them to escape, but his dad warned him, don't fly too high, don't fly too low. But like any son, Icarus ignored his dad's warning. So he flies out and everything is good until he gets too close to the sun and the sun melts the wax and he plummets to the ocean to his death. Thus the saying, don't fly too close to the sun. But that's how we got the name Icarus. Now I'm not going to bore you with a lot of specs about this thing, but I will tell you that Jordan Smothers did an awesome job making this thing. It is absolutely flawless. It looks like he machined this thing. There's not a blemish on it. He did an awesome job. This is like my second frame from Smo Slings. This is like my second frame from Snow, uh, Snow Slings. <laughs> snow. I wish it's snow. This is like my... Now this is like my second frame from Smo Slings and both of them are awesome. They are well made and I would tell anybody to buy anything that Jordan Smothers is putting out. But I want to talk about why I bought this thing. What caught my eye and it was, you guessed it, the fork tips. As you can see, these fork tips are not common. They're at a 45 degree angle. Let me explain why this is unique to me. I make and shoot a lot of natural slingshots. When I make them, I cut a lot of mine at a 45 degree angle because I just cut them how they grow naturally. If the branches branch off, I just cut them straight and it comes out to be 45 degrees. I've learned to shoot naturals that way. So I really like this because when I transition from a natural to a production frame, I have one that shoots just like a natural slingshot. I mean, it's a production frame that shoots naturally. All right, Jordan, if you use that as your sales pitch, you owe me 5%. But shooting the Icarus, it's just like shooting a natural frame. And for me, it didn't take any adjustments. So if you're in the natural frames and you cut them at 45 degree angles, this is a great production frame to get. Now I'm going to take a couple shots with this. In fact, I'm going to take 10 shots at a brand new can down range. And I'm just going to show you how easy it is to get on target with this. Now having said that, I'll probably miss every shot that I fire. But I'm not going to cut the film. Besides, i got to miss sometimes so you guys won't feel intimidated. Alright, here goes. Better get this way. Oh, I almost forgot. Before we shoot, I want to let you know today I banded this the Icarus up with none other than Simple Shot Premium Black Latex 0.5. 
the absolute most predictable latex on the market. This is some awesome stuff. You put this on a frame, you just made that frame better. In fact, Simple Shot Premium Black comes with some really cool features. One of those being it has anti four kit properties. Okay, that's not true. But still, this is the best latex on the market, hands down, my opinion. Don't take my word for it. I'll put a link down in the description below. Buy some and prove me wrong. Really good stuff. But let's get to the range. Okay, here we go. 10 shots at a 10 can. Here we go. With the Icarus. Use this lanyard here. This thing feels really great in the hand. It really does. All right, here we go. Now I'm shooting 5 sixteenths. All right, let's see. First shot. I tipped it. I tipped it. That counts. All right, that's one. I hate the rusty shots, but here we go. Number two. God, I'm telling you, I really like shooting this thing. It was not hard to get on. Now watch me miss this one. <laughs> Here we go, number three. Number three. All right. Number four. Number four. Right, here we go. Ooh, the can moved. You saw that? The can moved out of the way. Tell you what. Cheating. Can cheating me. All right, here we go. All right, number five. I missed one. Ooh. Ooh. All right, number six. Number six. That's a, man, thing's a joy to shoot. A joy to shoot. I'm gonna miss this one. Oh, I thought I was gonna miss that one. It didn't feel good in the hand. All right, that was number seven, I believe. All right, so number eight. Man, that breeze feels good. I love it when nature farts. Right. Awesome. All right, here's number eight. Number eight. All right, here we go. Number eight. <laughs> All right. Uh, number nine. Number nine. Last one right here. Got to count. Got to make it count. I believe if I wouldn't have rushed it, I would have hit that one earlier. All right, number 10, right here. Ooh, God, I missed. All right, I can't end like that. But that was my 10. I got two. I missed two. All right, I'm going to do one more, though. I can't end on a miss. But this thing's, this thing's real, it's fun to shoot, man. Really, watch this. Here we go. Y'all got me nervous, man. Got me nervous. This is why I'll never be good at tournament shooting. I shoot good when the camera's off. Let the camera roll or get an audience. Man, I can't hit nothing. All right, here we go. All right, I can't end that way. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about, Tater. The Icarus. Get you one. All right, taters, tapers. <laughs> All right, taters, I hope you've enjoyed the video and enjoyed the range time. But if you want to get a hold of an Icarus, all you got to do is just go down in the description below. I'm going to put a link to Smo Slings where you can pick up one of these and check out all the frames that he has. I promise you, you will thank me later. They're all great frames. Also, be sure to check out the link to get you some Simple Shot Premium Black Latex, the best latex on the market. And with that said, be kind to each other and get out there and bust some cans. We'll see you next time. Shoot, man. God. I 
bet y'all didn't know that sweat can go through steel. <laughs> Later, Tater.